was down there and then we were coming up the stairs and go ahead go ahead and tell everybody what the you're doing what the in this video we'll be looking at the top five scary stalkers caught on camera number five Carly Steele is a YouTuber who loves uploading vlogs, and she has over 1 million subscribers on her channel. On June 7, 2019, she uploaded a video of her and a friend shopping for groceries, where they noticed a creepy man in a denim jacket following them around. At first, the man approaches Carly and asks if she is from India, to which Carly answers that she does not understand the question. 270. The one tastes way better. Hi. Mm, I don't know what you're saying. Okay, okay. okay. Great. Okay. okay, guys, this man's following us and he keeps saying, like, something like, Are you from India or something? I don't know. He keeps asking me something about India. <laughs> and I literally looked at him and I said, I don't know what you're saying. And I After that, the man kept following them while they shopped around. How creepy is that? We were over near, um, the, when I was getting my zucchini noodles, I almost hit him with the cart. Then he went over to the nuts because I looked at him and I thought he was taking my wallet. And then he came back over near the cart. I almost hit him three times. He won't stop following us. Bro, bro he's not, he won't stop following us and I'm scared. That's him right there. In the video, Carly's friend can be heard saying that the man was walking so close behind her she thought that she was hitting him and even apologized three to four times. She then realized that the man was purposely walking close to her. She tried telling him to move out of the way, but the man didn't even listen. At one point, she almost hit him with the cart. Because when we walked in the store, he was walking right beside us and he would not move. I told you, like, I almost hit him with the cart four times. He wouldn't move out of the way. And I kept thinking, like, I was hitting him, so I said sorry, like, four times. But then when I noticed he was near the cart, I was like, why are you still here? Well, if I swear... It is crazy how the man followed them around, pretending to be looking for something. After they finished shopping and headed for the exit, the man walked right past them. The man literally bought nothing. The man did not even have a cart or a basket and was just walking around aimlessly, looking around suspiciously. Hey, guys, we can turn it's literally that guy right there in the backpack. He just followed us. Fortunately, Carly and her friend got out fine, and they never saw the creepy man again. Man, I was a bit worried for them there for a minute. That was creepy. Number 4. Shay Patino is a YouTuber who loves uploading vlogs. On April 11, 2019, Shay uploaded a video of her and her friend shopping in the mall before noticing a creepy man in a yellow shirt following them. She was looking at you crazy. At first, they encountered the man while browsing clothes inside a store. After that, the man followed them when they decided to go upstairs, and he hopped on the escalator first. Mount. So you can stop staring at me. <laughs> the man then followed them there too while Shay and her friend browsed for clothes. It is crazy how the man followed them around pretending to browse female clothes. Something just ain't right here. After they finish browsing clothes, Shay and her friend notices the man. So they decide to go to another store to make sure the man follows them. And the man did. Why does this guy keep following us? Like literally he keeps following us. Home in the I mirror. Uh, and he was like, he's probably following us. Dude, I swear to God, he was down there and then we were coming up the stairs and he went up the stairs and then we just saw him again. So that's the third time that we saw him. Oh my god, he's following us, he's following us. Oh my god, he's following us. Okay, so we're gonna go, yeah. so let's go over there and see if he follows us, okay? Yeah. The man was following them everywhere. No matter where they went, there he was. The man plays it off like he is just looking at stuff, but the women are not buying it. Talk about a persistent stalker. Oh my god, he's like looking at clothes, like pretending. Oh, crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. oh my god. That is crazy. Yeah. What? It is crazy how the man notices that the women are recording on camera, but he doesn't even care and follows them wherever they go. Thankfully, Shay and her friend got out fine and they never saw the creepy man again. These videos have been extremely disturbing, but we find number one to be the most disturbing of them all. 
This is a deadly case of infatuation gone wrong. Stay tuned for video number one. Number three. Back in 2020, as Jamie Coots was returning home from running some errands downtown, she found herself in a very disturbing situation. It was around 5.30 p.m. on March 17, 2021, near Kiefer and Columbia Streets on the edge of Chinatown and the downtown east side, when she noticed somebody was following her really close behind. What was supposed to have been a quick trip to the store turned into the nightmare Jamie Coots could not break free from. So, I was so she just moved aside the path to let the man pass. But the strange man stopped as soon as she stopped. She then said to him that he was walking too close to her, but he didn't reply to anything. Behind me that someone was there, and so I actually just stepped off the path to let them pass, but they didn't. That's when Coots pulled out her cell phone and began recording the man seen here in this video, walking only a few feet behind her. She then decided to walk a few laps around the block to make sure the man was actually following her. And when she realized he was, she took out her phone and began recording. She initially considered finding a bank where she could speak with the security guard. But it was evening, so she started trying to think of other places that might have lots of people. I really hope this creep doesn't hurt her. To have been a quick trip to the store turned into the nightmare Jamie Coots could not break free from. So I was walking and I could feel about two feet behind me that someone was there. And so I actually just stepped off the path to let them pass, but they didn't. That's when Coots pulled out her cell phone and began recording the man seen here in this video, walking only a few feet behind her. All of this happening early Wednesday evening at around 5.30 in downtown Vancouver in the areas of Chinatown and Tinseltown. No, he looked right in the camera multiple times. He didn't care at all. Coot says she was followed for several blocks around and around the... She then went to the crowded skateboard park where she sat down with a group of people she didn't know. The man just stood about five feet away staring at her before eventually walking away. Neighborhood. Hey, do you mind if I guys if I sit with you guys? This guy's literally been following me in circles yeah, that's for like 40 minutes and I've been recording it. Eventually, she made her way to the skate park near Union Street, where there was safety in numbers. Her apparent stalker backing off once questioned by someone else at the park. The incident has Coots. Coots reported the incident to Vancouver police, who started investigating. According to Jamie, the man saw right at the camera, but he didn't care at all. Ugh, what a creep. Number two. On March 27th of 2016, ABC 15 Arizona posted a disturbing video which shows a man that can be seen getting on an elevator just moments before trying to sexually assault a woman in her own apartment. With a daring and dangerous guy out on our streets, caught on video moments before he tried to sexually assault a woman and... In the video, the CCTV footage of the elevator shows a creepy man entering the apartment through an open gate after one of the tenants opened the gate and left. The man then gets into an elevator where a woman was on. And security cameras catch this guy coming in through an open gate after another tenant walks out. When the woman reaches her floor, the man gets out of the elevator and pretends to look for apartments. But when the woman opens the door to her apartment, the man tried to force his way in, which was not captured on the camera. See, was the man trying to force the woman to a bedroom until her roommate scared him off. Residents say they've learned to watch their backs. I actually had an account. The man tried to force the woman into the bedroom, but her roommate scared him off. Thankfully, the woman's roommate was at home that night, or it could have been a lot worse. Since then, the apartment complex has hired a security guard, and a reward was issued for anyone who catches the suspect. However, this video was years ago, and it is not clear if the suspect was ever captured. Now let's look at video number one. But before we do, please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it if you want to see more videos like this. Number one. On December 4th, 2018, Fox 11 Los Angeles uploaded a disturbing video recorded by a female Cal State University Northridge student 
revealing the moment a stalker attacked her after following her to class from off campus. In the video, the man can be seen saying that he wants to make love to her before he lunges at her and chokes her with both hands. Go ahead, go ahead and tell everybody what the f you're doing. What the f are you doing? What love? I don't know. According to Cahesian, the man approached her just after she got on a bike off campus. The man then started following her towards campus. On the way, the man also made small talk with her. Once she got to her destination at Bookstein Holland, the man started pulling her hair saying, I want to make love to you. When she said that she didn't know him and requested to stop pulling her hair, the man started to choke her. For a few moments, she was able to get away from the man, but he followed her and grabbed her hair to pull her towards him again. She then took her phone out and started recording him. The man then started to choke her once again. How are you? Out of here! Disturbing video of an assault on CSUN's campus as a female student is choked by a man who had been following her. I, I will. Gasi Kajajan is the woman behind the camera. I can literally feel his thumb in my jaw. For With her. Fortunately, the bystanders jumped in and pried him off of her. The man then takes a stance as if he wants to fight the people who helped her. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He was angry. It was like he was coming after me to get revenge in some way. She says it began Wednesday afternoon when she got on a line bike to ride. According to the police, the suspect is identified as Peter Way and has no affiliation with the university. CSUN police say his name is Peter Way. He has no affiliation with. He was taken in police custody and charged with several crimes. Kajijian was then taken to the hospital to be treated for minor injuries. Thank God she didn't sustain any major injuries. Which video did you like best? Please comment below with the number and why you liked it better. See you on the next one.